Hi, this is Clint from Elevate Chiropractic and Rehab. I want to go over uh, serratus and lower trap stabilization uh, when we're using the band here. So, do not need a thick band with this, which we'll you know talk about that when you're in the clinic. But band's going to go around, basically around the knuckles here, and I also want to keep my fingers kind of spread out and opened up. I don't want to be together or like curled like so. Starting down at my side, I'm sitting you know relatively upright. Uh, obviously, we're going to get some tension on the band. So I'm going to create just a little bit of external rotation there of my shoulder. So that's out. Now, as we go through the movement, I don't want these to start to come in and the elbows come out. So that's going to be kind of our big thing we're going to pay attention to here. So keeping some tension on the band. My arms are kind of starting to come out up towards the ceiling, keeping that same angle. And I'm coming up as far as I can without extending my back or changing my neck position or shrugging up like so. So control down, reset, repeat, coming up, hitting that wall, keeping that good angle that we talked about. Now, from the side view, we can kind of see where things can make this pretty easy. So same setup. I want to watch my back, and it should be staying pretty much exactly the same. I should be staying relatively stacked with my head, my shoulders, and my back. That's where I want to get. Now, if I let my back go, I can keep going and keep going and feel like I'm not creating the same amount. So really locking this in is going to be important. Um, also, with my arms, as you can see, they're staying at 90 degrees. I'm not necessarily straightening them out. A way you can think of this is if once we get up to here, my forearms are kind of up against a uh, a wall and I'm kind of like reaching towards that wall as I come up and that's what hits that wall and gets this activation going. So that's our serratus and lower trap stabilization.